Our global outreach team is what we call it. If you're here. And Brian is back there running the uh, slides. Okay, and I think Hannah's gone today. Hannah's gone today. There's two others that are gone today uh, and Jen Hall. Yeah, Jen Hall. So, okay. Thank you all. So, but this is quite an honor and privilege for our church to be sending such a great team to Japan, to our mission field. Um, and I'm just going to share some things that Janet uh, wrote for us. She said, we watched the team come together, lots of prayer, plans, and execution of fundraising events and mailings, and the Lord graciously and richly blessed. Amen. The global outreach team and so many of you volunteered time and resources to see these event, this event succeed. You have given generous, graciously and generously to help finance the team. And we are so grateful for all that you have done. And we want to offer all of you a big thank you. Tomorrow morning early, Team Japan will embark on a trip, uh, part of the trip part of this adventure. And they have learned and experienced a lot in the preparations for the trip. Now they will experience what God has for them in serving Janet Brown and Ken Taylor in their ministries in Tokyo. Janet and Ken have a rigorous schedule of ministry laid out for them. She says, I can hardly wait to hear of how God has used them to touch Japanese lives and how he has impacted the life of each member of Team Japan. And I'd like uh, Dwayne to come and join me. Uh, Tim couldn't be here due to his mother's illness and they're on the western slope. But I'd like them and maybe any of the mission team, James, and if you guys want to come on, and we're going to pray uh, for Team Japan. And I don't know about you folks, I'm excited that our pastor and his wife get to go. Um, and Garrett and his wife gets to go. Uh, we appreciate the Doyles and, and Susie, but the thing that thrills me most is to see these young people. <clears throat> to see uh, Megan and Andrea and, and Elena to be able to go and experience this because one of the goals of our church is to impact the next generation mm -hmm. and so this is a twofold uh, trip in a lot of ways if not more and so we're excited so Dwayne do you want to pray this morning or okay. pray as well. Father we just thank you for this opportunity to reach out halfway around the world. And, and the, the Japanese culture is a difficult one to, to penetrate. We know that the workers that have been there for so many years are going to really benefit from the, from the help that uh, we're sending them. And we pray that permanent relationship will be formed uh, so that we can have a, more contact there in, in the Japanese culture. And Lord, we know we're going to learn a lot. Our folks are going to learn a lot. And they're going to bring that knowledge back to us <coughs> in our church. We, most of us don't know that Japanese culture very well. So it's going to be a learning experience for us as well as for uh, everyone that these, these good people contact. And we just thank you for the opportunity they have and that we have to support them. In Jesus' name. Let's continue. Lord, we just praise you for this team that you put together. And Lord, as they stand here before us, Lord, they're a testimony of their love for Christ and a love for others. And also, Lord, the courage it takes to take a trip like this. And so, Lord, I just pray your Holy Spirit would go before, with, and behind them. I pray, God, that you would just put your angels in charge over them and protect them, give them good traveling mercies and and Lord, just uh, surprise them with your presence and your power and your glory. I pray, God, that they would just, uh, just see you in every aspect of this trip and how you can empower them and use them. Give them boldness, give them peace, give them courage, and uh, just bless everything they do in a way that just surprises everyone of your glory and your, your power. And we ask it in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord.